Thank you for joining us on another Pier 1 Yacht Sales boat tour video. I'm your host, Clint Johnson, and what we have for you guys today is a 1989 Silverton 47. So I do want to point out that this boat, she did go through Hurricane Ian, and she did lose some stuff like her canvas up top, her eyes and glass. So she's taken a little bit of damage on the outside, but she came through it pretty darn well considering the size and power of that storm. But stick with me because you got to see the inside of this boat. It has been fully remodeled. It looks like it's based out of the Keys of the Caribbean. It's absolutely spectacular. The people that own this boat, they lived aboard this vessel for six years. Anyway, really unique. And I want you guys to just follow with me on this and just check her out because it is really, she's really beautiful and cool on the inside. Now we will be getting on her in just a moment. I do want to point out that her name is Cabana Queen. So let's hop on board and check her out. So as we step on board, we're gonna go forward, check out the bow first. Really large, roomy bow, put cushions out, lay out, just really nice. Large, large bow area. I mean, this is a large, large vessel. And like I was mentioning, this boat is for sale and she is she is priced appropriately given that, you know, that somebody's gonna have to do some work on the outside. But we're gonna get on the inside here soon and you just need to check it out. So really on the aft deck here, basically nice, nice living area. Do you wanna point out any chairs, decorations, anything you see on this boat? goes with this boat. We're gonna go up into the bridge real quick. Just get a quick look around. You can see that that windscreen there, it was broken. So somebody will have to replace those sections that were broke by Ian. But it doesn't, you know, it doesn't stop the boat from functioning. Uh, I had them fire up the engines earlier. We'll throw that here later in the video so you guys can see both of those 500 horsepower Detroit diesels run. The owner also wanted me to point out that a lot of these gauges don't work or don't work well. Um, they used it as a low board. That's the big case for this boat. She's She's been made to be just a very large level board. And if that's what somebody's looking for, this uh, boat has it in spades. And so, I mean, if you wanted to take it, you know, long distances down the Caribbean, you know, stuff like that, you're gonna have some work to do on her. But as a liveaboard, this boat is phenomenal. So let's get down in this boat and check her out because this is not standard 1989 Silverton 47 decorating. I mean, this boat was remodeled and I, I think you can see it here when I say remodeled and whoever buys this boat, they're going to, they're going to get everything that you see, TV, everything. The owner says, even the wine, anything that you see in here, I mean, it's just, just beautifully decorated really nice and large roomy this is a floating apartment and this is where this boat shines i mean cabana queen they lived on it for six years and they re fully redid this boat the owner she just made it beautiful i mean i mean just look at that that seating area i mean just see everything just gorgeous It's one of the coziest boats, really, honestly, that I've been on in, I can't even remember. And I, I see a lot of boats, folks. Check out this galley. 
and just beautiful. These mirrors just make it look so much larger. You can see me there. Almost a full size refrigerator. So, I mean, if you're going to be a live aboard, I mean, this boat. I mean, look at all those cabinets. That's amazing. All right, now under these stairs right here is the engine room. And we're gonna run, run those for you. We're gonna hop down there in just a second. I do wanna point out, it, it does have a generator, but it has not run since these guys bought the boat. And so I just wanna point that out. So when, when, you, when you watch us run the engines and stuff like that, if you see a few panels off, it's not that it can't be fixed, but they were, they were liveaboards. They just stayed in a marina. They use it like an apartment. They had shore power, all of that. They, they didn't need it. So, but it is there if somebody's so inclined and wants to fix it, and they're going to be traveling a lot with it. Um, you know, that's something that you're going to have to take on. Um, they did a full restoration on this boat. That's one of the items that they didn't really need to do, so they didn't get to it. Um, so, so let's lift those stairs and go watch those engines run, and then we'll explore the rest of the boat. All right, we're going to head down in the engine room and check out these two. Detroit diesels, um, they're original with the boat, 1989s, 500 horsepower each. Let's head on down in the engine room and we're gonna go check them out and we're gonna watch them run. All right, so we're gonna start with the Port uh, Detroit diesel. We're gonna fire up, let you guys see it run, and then after that we'll, uh, we'll do the starboard. Right, now that we've seen the port engine run, we're gonna fire up the starboard for you guys so you can take a look. Right, now that we saw those engines run, let's go forward. Let's open up this door here. And with this door open, what we have is we have a washer dryer set up. As we move down further and over here to the left or port side, we have our first birthing area that we're gonna check out. This has double bunk beds. Really nice. They also use this as an office. And as you can see, that just flips up. You swing that out there and you have a desk. They have a nice little chair there. They have their printer. Just really nice. As we go forward, we have a very nice large V-berth. And this is not the master stateroom. Even though on many boats, this would be a master stateroom. Really nice, good sized bed. Just a really nice 
the birth stateroom. And as we come around here, we have our first head. There are two heads on this boat. Nicely decorated. And we have our shower, which they currently use. I'm gonna be honest, they, they currently use it to store pieces of wood for extra trim as they've been remodeling. That stuff could be taken out um, if somebody didn't want it. Um, she was telling me that there is just a little bit of extra trim work and th a few things she wanted to do in the master stateroom, but functioning shower and head. All right, now I think we're done up forward here. And we're just gonna head on aft. The remaining part is really just to get into the aft master stateroom and check that out. And here we go, where we'll head down to this aft master stateroom. Once again, beautiful. Lots of storage. Now, this is the things you know, like they had wood for. The owner wanted me to point this out. They still currently have some tape on here. They have some trimming jobs that they, they hadn't got to, to finishing. But for the most part on the inside, this boat is fully done. So there's, there's a handful of continuing to restore her little projects, but all the heavy lifting has been done. It's beautiful. And we have the master head. Once again, current owner of this vessel, she did want me to point out that, and there's a few little things that, you know, they were still working on some trim and stuff. So they've put tape. And so the boat comes with trim and a lot of those parts. So, you know, on the outlet, just another cover. They were in the middle of fully restoring this vessel, like I said earlier. And with the shower open, and currently they're, I mean, they're using this as storage, comes with wallpaper and cloth and different things like that to continue fixing up the boat and making her beautiful. But she, she's mostly done, as you can see, just really, really nice boat. And I mean, this is a floating apartment, great liveaboard. All right, I'm gonna exit here and Take us back up to the salon. Just give one final view. Well, thank you for joining me on this Pier 1 Yacht Sales boat tour. I hope you like this boat, this 1989 Silverton 47. If you did like this boat and you like this tour, uh, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more boat videos in the future from Pier 1 Yacht Sales, Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Once again, thank you, and we'll catch you next time.